And for your veiny racial, you are going to do two parts. It said just one part paint one part water way too thick don't even don't even attempt that get your blue and your white because this blue is way too dark I would add one drop of blue five drops of water five Mix that up a little bit. And let's add a little bit of white to this color. Oh, I'm going to add it to the side well. Yeah, I ate and I need a nap because I'm a little bit too sleepy to function here. Oh, yeah, the white's working. Lighten that up a little bit to a pretty vein color blue. Okay, what is this in here? Looks like there's a couple of dry specks of paint in there. Happens when you're the paint thing when the, the droppers get dry. Okay, that's really thick. I'm going to add five more drops of water. Alright. That looks like a nice color blue to me. I trade the vein aqua. It is not good. Do not buy it. It's a waste of money. Blend flow. I'm going to add a drop of blend flow. This will help the paint move along your kit. along those modeling uh, circles it kind of gives you a little bit of a kind of a little bit of a road map when you model before you so just connect your veins and like I said just kind of follow your modeling just connect the dots there and make sure that your veins are flowing on your head up and down um, you may want to go down the center over from ear to ear and then connect them but make sure they're flowing down not across you always want to be flowing down on the head so you can do that add as many as you want and come in between the eyes um, put some off to the side here in the temple area like this I don't really worry about blotching it off because with the air dry they dry so so fast anyway it's not a big deal if you don't blotch so that's pretty much the head um, I'll add more it takes me a little bit to do my head but I was just giving you the basics and then on your your legs I always like to add veins up here so people can see them when they change the diaper so you can start up here and just kind of treat some small veins off in this area. Again, make sure that you're flowing down the leg. You can go off to the side if you want, like that. 
always go around the ankle and the side of the foot. I just think that's really pretty. And then like right behind the ankle. And up the leg. A little way. Alright. And then on the arm. Uh, basically everyone knows to go down from the center of the hand to about right there. And if you wanted to come to the back and add a few veins here. I've even seen veins up in here if you wanted to add some there. Little babies, they have tons of little veins inside their hands. So it's all really up to you. There is a book, Dolls by Sandy Sells. I know I keep promoting her. I don't, I'm not promoted by her. I just happen to like her store a lot. There is a veining book that shows several different patterns in that book if you're fairly new and you want to learn uh, where exactly the placement should be for your veins. I mean, it's not a big issue. It has never been a big issue as long as um, you can see them. It's really up to what people like to see. So, um, you just don't want, um, I guess, to paint the whole thing with veins. Kind of look like a zombie. A little creepy. Anyway, it's up to you. So, I'm going to work on this little guy a little bit. I'll probably take a nap first. I ate and I shouldn't have because I'm really sleepy now. Alright, I got all my sweet little veins done on this little lady. And um, now I want you to use your blue paint. Mine is really thick, so I'm going to add a little bit of water to it. A couple of drops. So that's three drops, just to thin it up. And now I want you to use the remainder of your blue paint to go along your sweet little baby's eyelids right here. If it's a sleeping baby that you're doing. Like so. And use your dabbing brush. And dab that toward the center. Like so. It's going to give your baby a little bit of color in those eyelids. Like that. Not so much that you can see the blue. You want it to blend in your sweet baby skin. Go ahead and do up the nose again with the blue. And dab that out. Tyler's playing with the cats. <laughs> <laughs> and then go around your nose right here on the sides with the blue. Around here. And then you're going to bring that out with your dabbing brush and just bring it on down the lip. Okay? It's just going to darken up those, that little fat area right there. Like so. Okay. Alright. And we're going to do inside of the ears one more time. Just the deep part of the ears. glasses on in here try not to get none on the outside of your ear you don't want a blue ear like I did I didn't mean to do that go ahead and dab that out okay that's just adding up to that ear again wipe any blue on the outside out like so it's going to give you some depth to that little ear do the other little ear. Again, just the deepest part of this lower ear here with your blue paint. Go ahead and dab that out. And make sure there's no paint on the outside of your ear. Wipe it down with your little sponge if you have to. All right. Alright, my children are all home today, but that's okay. We're going to do the bottom of his chin here, just a little bit of blue. And just pat that out. That's just going to give it a little bit of a shadow underneath that sweet little chin. Alright. Okay, that's about all I can think of on the head to cover with the blue. Did all my little veins on my legs. This is very tedious for me. Veins are very tedious. That's why I just turn the camera off and 
take my time. So, anyway, back to our little blue. Um, I guess you would call this. What would you call this? Highlights? Blue highlights? On the sweet little foot we already did down the center. I like to do these little toes here. Across the, the tops of these little toes with the blue paint. And just take your time. Try not to get it on your toes so you don't have blue toes. Use your little dabber to dab that paint out. Just like so. It's just going to add a little bit of depth to your sweet little toes there. And you may have to do that a couple of times. Uh, to darken it up. You don't want it too dark that you see the blue, but just enough to add a shadow to those sweet little toes. Okay. Let me dab that out again. Like so. Sweet little toes. Okay. Like that. And I did do a vein that went from the toe across this bone and then I went across the bottom of the foot there to kind of give that foot a little more uh, detail. The same thing with this one, we're going to go right across these toes on just at the end, the bottom of the toes where you want to add some depth to it on that little fat roll right there and just wipe it out dab it out try not to get any on your toes and I'm going to do that a couple of times to darken it up like so I guess I could put my chest piece on for my GoPro and then you guys could see it from my angle instead of from the side. Alright, just like so. Don't make it so dark that you see the blue. You just want to highlight that area of your foot. And, of course, I already did the hand and the fat rolls. And the part of Alright, I did all my sweet little veins. Alright, I'm pretty tired today. It's the end of the day. I think I'm going to close up this video and I'll work a little bit more on this little sweet baby tomorrow. Alright, so I got, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. And I'm very slow at painting. I'm not as fast as some of them. Some of them are very fast. But I am not because I enjoy the process. I just take my time and enjoy my time with this sweet little baby here and like I said as you're painting your, your kit will start speaking to you and you'll see areas that you want to highlight oh I did forget about the back of the ears that was one another area that I wanted to show you to highlight there's a little fat roll right there like a little fat piece of the ear just that crease do you see that crease I hope you can see it I'm just going to put a little bit of blue in there to, to highlight that little crease behind the ears. When I first started looking for Reborns, um, this was before they had these Reborn kits, way long ago when they were still doing uh, Behringer dolls. See how that kind of gives that ear definition. Anyway, when I first started looking for these kits, I would, I would find these beautiful babies, I mean, that looked almost real, and the thing that turned me off was the ears. The ears would not look realistic to me, so a lot of babies I didn't pay any attention to because I didn't think their, real, their ears looked real enough, and I thought what a shame to make that baby look so pretty and real and ignore the the ears. Alright, so that just gives our our little baby some definition behind the ears. 
that's sweet okay i am closing out this video y'all have a good night take care of yourselves and we'll talk with you again real soon bye bye now